you so much. So everything you talk about is natural. Why is there confusion? Not for the contrast, but like when you were speaking to Costa about being a teacher, like I just, it's natural. Like all people are doing it all the time. This is what it means to be a human. Yeah? Yeah. So your question is, we know you said it, but say it again, point at it. This is natural. Why is there a confusion? Because so many people who surround you, even when you first showed up this time in your physical body, had lost their sense of the existence of their own inner being and had come to look outside of that connection for satisfaction. And so instead of focusing upon the basic elements of universal laws, they began focusing as our first questioner was doing a little bit on the outcome of their focus. And so the world becomes sort of ravenous about the conditions that spring forth from that lack of alignment. And then they want to put into piles all of the behaviors and assign rightness and wrongness to those. And then they want to restrict and encourage behavior based upon the feeling of happiness or unhappiness when someone observes it, they're off the track of who they really are. But the good news is when people hang around like that for a while, in other words, there's nothing like being disconnected from who you really are to make you really want to be connected to who you really are. So the search just gets bigger and stronger and bigger and stronger until you have billions of people that are asking, who am I and how do I feel good? And aren't I supposed to feel good? And then the very good news is that the old tough resistant ones croak and reemerge right away into everything that they've been looking for because sometimes what you call your death experience is your path of least resistance into what you're looking for looking for love in all the wrong places. Sometimes you have to die to look for it in the place where it really is. And new ones are being born all the time. And your planet is abundant with creatures of all manner who know their well-being. Mm -hmm. That centipede knew it was right in its world. It didn't slink across that floor in guilt. <laughs> it wasn't hiding for Esther. It was right out there in the open, proud of who it was, glad to be alive in the moment really quite happy to see her and so it's a misunderstanding of who you really are that is at the heart of that so much so we know you've heard us say this it's something we've been saying newly that much of the world all of the world humans are putting themselves in piles acknowledging the pile that they're in I'm in the good pile you're not they say to each other and your inner being sees only two piles those who are in this moment in alignment with who they are and those in this moment who aren't and everything that everyone in those piles is feeling is contingent upon that and only that so your question come back to it because it's a good one and it was poignant within you the being vibrational is natural natural to being a human let's define that a little bit because we like where you're going with this so let's agree that something that is natural is something that is vibrationally accurate something that is natural is source based yes something that is true well there are a lot of perspectives of truth but anything that you manifest is true even unwanted things are true. So can you go back to your original question here? We want to hear everything you have to say, but go back to your original question uh, where we're at right here. Yep. So it's natural to be human. But before that, what's natural mm -hmm. before that? 
get to the natural part before that oh you want me to describe what being natural is we just want you to start at the true starting place it's natural to be pure positive energy yeah. it's natural to be non-resistant in nature it's natural to be eternal it's natural to have understanding it's natural to be an extension of source energy it's natural to be an extension of source energy and be in alignment with who I am it's natural it's natural to feel good it's not natural not to feel good it's usual to not feel good but it's not natural to not feel good Esther's nose is running that's not natural <laughs> it's natural to feel good it is not natural not to feel good that's not natural but it's natural to like and dislike things it's usual to like and dislike things but your nature is to like them your true nature is to like them it's not natural to be in a place of resistance or pushing against or blaming so your true nature is one of alignment now you came into this experience we know where you're going with this and you're right about this you came into this experience knowing that there would be contrast it's natural to choose what you want it is not natural to push against what you don't want that's not your true nature so your inner being will join you in choosing what you want but your inner being never joins you in what you don't want that's not natural that's not your true nature you're driving at something really important here who am I really who am I naturally your love and clarity and sureness your confidence and stability and willingness you are love that's who you naturally are you are unnaturally someone who hates you are unnaturally someone who blames that's not natural so now go back to your original premise if you can because we know we have dragged you from it but go back to where you were trying to take us and let's work the kinks out of that yeah so everything you said is natural you don't have to search for it it's there why is there confusion about that because the law of attraction responds to whatever your vibration is so when you are in what we are calling an unnatural place of misalignment the law of attraction still attracts to that unnatural state and brings you proof about it because the law of attraction does not discriminate about whether you're in your true state or in your unnatural state because if you are in your unnatural state and therefore attracting more and more of what you don't want you're launching rockets of desire about what you do want and that's natural one way that you can identify what's natural or what's not natural is when it's consistent in other words if you can get hold of something that is consistent that there's just no bumps in it no equivocation in it no oh yeah but true nature is something that is really stable why don't people know that because they have short view they're looking at themselves through their physical senses and a lot of people think that when that physical body dies that it's all over that it began with that birth and that it ended with that which they call that death so they've got such a short view and so then they come to all sorts of speculations and conclusions based upon flawed premises so you have to step back to the whole of who you really are and that's where we came in for many of you we helped you to step back and get a greater glimpse of who you really are so that you could feel the resonance of your true nature so that you could feel the resonance of your true nature enough that when you were off from it you recognize the offness of it now you don't necessarily know right away what to do about that offness but it's a wonderful thing that you know that you're off mm -hmm. this is not natural I'm so mad at you and this is not natural because I am one who loves and you behaved in a way and I observed what you did in such a way that I'm so upset with you you broke my precious tree unnecessarily what were you thinking why weren't you looking where you were going why would somebody put somebody in a truck that doesn't know what they're doing those are not natural those are not natural feelings that's not how source feels about the situation not how the source feels about the tree not how the tree feels about the tree not how source feels about the driver of the truck that's not natural that negative emotion is the indicator that this is not natural it's not natural to not feel good it is natural to feel good it is not natural not to feel good it might be usual it might be often it might be frequent it might be abundant 
but it's not natural. What's natural is love. What's natural feels good. We like that you've stirred this up. Yeah, you're stirring. We are out of time. So yeah. did you have some place you were going or did you just well, want to open something up that matters a lot? I would absolutely like to expand on this in the days to come. I wanted to open it up and I have another inquiry that's around the same thing of flying high. That's natural. Is natural. And then what is important? I'm like answering my own question, but what is important to pay attention to physically? So how do you feel? Yes. Emotional. Go deep yeah. to the emotion. Start with the emotion. Everything else will follow. That's all. Because if you start with something exterior, like a bump or a lump or a condition or whatever, now you're out of balance and now you're not doing that natural thing. And now you're not in alignment with who you really are. And now you're out on the bleeding edge and now you're on the, out on the wrong ragged edge. And now you're asking, but you're not receiving. And so you're exacerbating the situation, but you're not doing what's natural what's natural is to thrive and what's natural is to love what's natural is to feel good what's natural is to feel good that's hard for you all to hear you've been trained that you should deprive yourself of feeling good that what's natural is sacrifice and hard work and effort and struggle and if you do enough of that then you will be rewarded what that's not natural you can't get there from there Law of attraction, 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 law of attraction. Oh, but I believe in assertion. I believe that there's somebody out there that if I suffer enough, they will assert well-being into my experience. That's not natural. That's not natural. That never happens. That never happens. We've enjoyed this interaction immensely. There is great love here for you. And for now, we are complete.